Well, hello guys, and welcome back to AMZ's Corner. Uh, I'm here in the apartment today. You can see my beautiful wallpaper. Yeah, right. To uh, do a quick unboxing and first impression of the Mac Tools ET129 full system code scanner. Uh, this is probably one of the the higher end of the lower functioning scanners. Um, this can do air ba uh, airbags, SAS. It can do. Uh, oh, what, what else can it do? It can do uh, airbags, oil changes, uh, oil change resets. You know, some cars have maintenance minders. Uh, this can reset some of those, like on BMWs and and some of the new Chevys and stuff. Uh, it can do airbag lights and and safety lights, you know, SRS codes, uh, it can do um, steering angle sensors, like on a, a BMW, um, it can also do, uh, oh, what is it, ABS, SRS, and all of that. Uh, I bought this because I wanted something more of like an after repair scanner. Uh, anybody that's been in the business for a long time will, will appreciate an after repair scanner. Uh, that's a term we use when we, we have more powerful tools but a lot of times with more powerful tools comes more menus, uh, more setup, more stuff to put in the tool, more time to get in. So you would use a more powerful scanner for diagnosis to figure out what's going on with the car. But say you, uh, you know what's wrong, you know what's going on, but you've got to turn an ignition on when some sensors are unplugged. You've got you to put you know, something like that and you know what the code's going to be. You'll, you'll use this to get in real quick and, and clear it. Or uh, if you're in a hurry and, and you want to get codes out quick, you'll use a scanner like this. Just because it's a little more simple uh, and you can get into a, what you're doing a little faster. So let's take a quick look at the box. Um, you know, like I was just saying, let's see if this will focus. Let me get my hand out of there. Well, complete domestic Asian and European coverage. Um, another thing with this tool, which is the reason I bought this, is it comes with lifetime or you know I don't know whose life they're talking about but I was told it comes with lifetime updates which with a scanner can be more expensive than the scanner itself is just keeping it up up to date on the new models and, and the new changes or whatever so that's a big bonus for this tool the the lifetime updates um, the tool this replaces for me at least would be would be this tool here so let's take a quick look at, at it's probably the, the the daddy the the older version of, of this new one bear with me it's one-handed here now this this tool here is basically replacing this tool here for me this is my old after repair scanner uh, this one you had to pay for updates and the last update for this was was a 2006 update so it's pretty much a dinosaur uh, it's still a very powerful tool um, if you were like a an at-home technician or an at-home mechanic uh, this is this is still pretty powerful it it can't do like airbags and, and SRS systems but it's still a good tool really fast really easy to use uh, runs on batteries and it will eat those batteries so fast but it will get its power from the DLC connector so whatever but this is on its way out uh, I'm actually gonna send this to somebody uh, I think I, I know a, a fellow youtuber who uh, who might appreciate this uh, one pug life uh, is gonna end up with this he's getting this uh, I see him he has trouble with his wife's minivan throwing, you know, codes, and he's like, I don't know what that code is, blah, 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 blah. Well, well, one pug life, this one's for you. Uh, I just got to get it on the way out to you. Uh, all I want you to do is just uh, just give me a shout-out on your channel. But enough of that, enough of that. Uh, we're here for this. We're here for this. So, you know, automatic ID, which means it'll you plug it in, and it you tell it to identify the vehicle, which is saves you some time. That can save you some time. So let's take a look at the, the sides. Now one thing I want to show, as you see the screen, uh, for some reason this just doesn't want to focus for me today, but if you look I can see the BMW and, and Porsche and you got the actual symbols and all that. Same here, you know, pretty much just saying what the front of it said. I wish I could focus. I wish I could get better focus. And then, you know, same on the sides. And the back, 
pretty much just says what the front enhanced domestic and blah 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 and stuff it does it does this that and the other thing a million things on a million cars for a million people for a million bucks uh, I, I haven't really gone through every detail on this I've used it for some quick diagnosis and some quick reading on some stuff uh, and it's good it's pretty good um, put a mention of the price this is uh, you might as well call it five hundred dollars for this little scanner uh, it was about five hundred bucks which is pretty expensive but then you remember that updates for these updates for these scanners can can go for that much for five hundred dollars for an update and this has free updates for the life of the tool so we break into this here and we'll see what we get in the box now like I said I've, I've already used this tool um, that's why you see all these spots another quick complaint I have is <clears throat> on these scanners we really like to keep these protective coverings on the scanner it just helps keeping stuff off and keeping them messed up but unfortunately they decided to put some advertising on it which kinda kinda makes this useless unfortunately so I'll just stick that up there probably never put it on again <clears throat> now here's uh... here's the scanner you know, here's the OBD connector with the serial connector I wish uh... I wish they'd, they'd stop using those. I really do. I don't like those at all. Um, it's not a big deal on a scanner like this where you're going to use the same DLC plug and cable, but if you've got to switch for like Nissans and, and, and stuff and different cables, it, it doesn't take much to bend those. And then you've got to straighten them out. And yeah. Well, it comes with a port. To, now, that's not a charging port. I'll get into that in a minute. We got the SD card. I believe that is a one gig SD card. That's where all the updates are stored. I'm not gonna pull it out with a single hand here. So, you know, three and a half inch screen. You got a, a power light and a, a data transfer light. You got your D-pad and OK and Escape for getting out and uh, quick memo or not memo, quick uh, you know, help button. I believe that is. I, I've never actually used it good grip on it. It's got kind of a built-in protector on it. I, I've never actually tried to remove it but I'm sure it comes right off. Uh, you'll notice there's no battery door so there's no batteries to change or any of that. Not a lot going on though. Not a lot not a lot on it. And then in the box you'll get your uh, you'll get your DLC cable for hooking into the this, you know your OBD connector and then the serial port that I'm not very fond of on the other side. So we'll just uh, we'll just move this down here. And then you get your other cable. This is your updating cable. This is the cable to update it. Um, it also comes with a neat little uh, little adapter, so you can plug the uh, the SD card into uh, oh what do they call you know what that port is serial port not serial port oh it's on the tip of my tongue you all know what it is over here <clears throat> so yeah you get that and then under you get your uh, your updating instructions uh, I've already updated this uh, I wanted to make sure and see if that screen remember I showed you the the, the I'm gonna show the picture of the scanner I wanted to see if I can make it look like that um, we'll get into that in a moment comes with a, a pretty thick a pretty thick instruction book uh, pretty basic instruction book you know, pretty basic how to use it. And I think it goes into like using it to diagnose, you know. If you're going to spend as much as it costs for this scanner, you're probably already going to know most of what's in this book. Um, <clears throat> if you don't really know a lot, you're just going to buy like an AutoZone or a Walmart or some online thing. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <clears throat> All right, let's see if I can... Uh, I can set this up. Now, normally you would plug this into a car. You would plug it into your, 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 your OBD connector. It would get power and it comes on automatically. Uh, that's one of my other complaints is it's not, there's no battery in it. There's no way to, to turn it on and, and pre-ID a vehicle where you're walking out to the parking lot. Sometimes I like to be like, oh, I'm going to work on a, you know, an old four Saab. 9.3 or something, I'll, I'll put that in while I'm walking across the parking lot so I don't get to do it in the car. So, let me hook this in to my laptop for power. Let's see if I can do this and record. 
bear with me here. This is always the toughest part. If I would just buy a tripod. And there we go. And then we got our boot up screen. System is starting. Please wait. It's identical, you know, identifying the card, validating the pin number. Gives you the Mac tool screen. And then it gives you this screen here. Find a good angle we can see it. And then we got, you know, help, which is help. Another thing, this is not a touch screen. Um, a lot of things are touch screen. This isn't, you know, it is what it is. I kind of would would have liked this to be an Android type system. I think it might have been a little better, but who knows what they would have had to charge. So when um, this is settings for setting up, like if you want the buttons to beep when you press them, if you want it to come to a certain screen, I think that's uh, let's take a look. Language, units of measures, beep, and and stuff for record. Uh, I, I turn the beep off because I don't like these things beeping every time I press a button. You know, it's not like a texting or something where you need to know if you pressed it or not. You can always just look at the screen. So we come to the first screen and we have like a, a an OBD. This is will go in and and identify itself. Uh, I'm not going to go to that because there's nothing hooked up to it. So we'll go to scan. Now you'll notice the screen here. It just says GM, Saab, and Acura, and all that. And this is the screen from from the pictures. And as you can see, maybe they there just wasn't enough memory in the machine. Maybe it's going to be released in an update. But you know, oh well. I think maybe it should should have should have packaging should reflect what you get. But you know, oh well. Maybe maybe someday that'll. It'll be a little more graphically <clears throat> accepting. A um, lot, lot, of, lot of coverage. A lot of cars in here. A lot of cars in here. You know, Saab. That's something that a lot of the Snap-on scanners... <coughs> excuse me. A lot of the Snap-on scanners don't have Saab. You know, I never understood that, but this does. You know, we have like stuff like Lancia. Or, you know, Lancia. Sorry. Butchering it. You know, <laughs> cars you've never even seen or heard of. You know, stuff we just don't have here in America. We'll go through the list and see what they got. Stuff, you know, Opal. When's the last time you saw an Opal? You know, Porsche and Smart Cars and all those. So, you know, Vauxhall. So there's a lot. There's a lot. And I'm sure, I'm sure they have, they'll have some more. Uh, I didn't see, like, Seat. you think that'd be near Volkswagen. Um, you know, no Ferrari. You know, Alpha. You know, all sorts of cars. <laughs> But yep. So let's see. Let's what's uh. Why don't we see what? Let's see what a Skoda. And then vehicle scan and control modules. Uh, everyone seems to be a little different. But as you can see, every car they make is on here. What was that? A Yeti. A Skoda Yeti. <laughs> now I've never seen one. I haven't seen one. Yeti? Yeah, Yetis exist, sure, whatever. So, we'll back out. And then, review, which I think if you store your data, like I said, I've used it a few times, but I haven't really, I haven't really gotten into it and used it a ton. Let's see what, uh, reset, for your oil lamp reset, you know, your brake reset. I, I think that's for doing, like, um, parking brakes, or, or maybe it's automated bleed. And then, steering angle sensors. Now, uh, I, I, steering angle sensor, there's not a lot of cars with that. You know what I would have rather have other than the steering angle sensor? It would have been like throttle recalibration or throttle relearns. You know, every new vehicle, you know, has, has fly-by-wire throttles, and a lot of them need to be reset or recalibrated. I would have rather have that than that, but you get what you get, you know, you get what you get. So all in all, it's a quick tool. Uh, it doesn't seem to ever lock up. It, it seems to, you know, fire right up, work really quick. So it's a good after repair scanner. It really is. Is it is it worth five hundred dollars? I would say on its own, not at all. Not not at all. Uh, if this was all you got, it wouldn't be worth five hundred dollars. Um, as you saw here with this scanner, this was about this was about what five hundred dollars would have been back in the early two thousands adjusted for inflation these two tools then for all intents and purposes cost the same amount of money for their time period 
Uh, I would have another thing, you know, this came with this nice case, nice protective case. Uh, for, for the for the money, it should have come with the case. You know, maybe I'll maybe I won't send the case. Maybe Pug will just get the scanner, and I'll keep the case for this tool. Uh, I haven't decided. This fits good in my toolbox without the case. So all in all, if you need a if you need an after repair scanner, and and you want a scanner to do side work that can get in and take care of airbag lights and and ABS lights for Diag, it's a good tool for that. It's a good, relatively inexpensive tool to get you into into some of the harder to get into modules of the of of new nowadays cars. As you can see, I'll unplug that and it just shuts off. Uh, that's what it does when you unplug it from whatever from the car too. So all in all, it's all right. It's it's all right. Uh, if it if it would have come with a case, you know, I, I would say it'd be more worth it. I'd say it'd be more worth it. But the lifetime, the lifetime updates. Um, it, it's going to be interesting to see whose life they're talking about. Uh, you know, I'll get back to you guys with, with if they ever stop. We'll know. You know, I'll do another video on the next small scanner I buy. So for now, I'm going to do some more using. Maybe I'll see if there's another update for it. But uh, yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for watching my Mac Tools ET129 unboxing and quick review. So until next time, guys, keep it out of the cabbage.